Hello Facebook. Hello. Look who it is. Yes. <laughs> well enough to join me in the kitchen down here at the farm. Yeah. So um, so your hair Lil, is still pink. Mine yes. has gone. But you did dye it pink. But it was quite it was. good that it came out. It was yes. a wash out. It was. You've still yeah. got little kind of like bron like kind of bronzy ready. Face. I have. And do you know I have actually booked a hair appointment for next week. I'm going to go and have full head of highlights are you i am so excited i'm like honestly it's like how many sleeps before i can go back and get my hair properly done <laughs> and then of course i could dye it really pink because it's the peroxide bit isn't it that the pink yeah grabs onto so we'll and they'd see. be able to make it super for me lovely chat going on very very nice to see you yes isn't it lovely to have Lil hi Amy so Amy is managing Facebook you're gonna have to stand close Sorry. to me lovely because I, I know we're, we're on two phones here so we have to squeeze together for Facebook and then for Instagram as well so just a very quick run through what we're going to do today I'm going to cook uh, a really yummy tart from my yearbook too so if you've got this the recipe is on page 81 you're going to cook we are going to cook, okay? So courgette, leek and gruyere tart, but I'm gonna do two versions. And the reason for that is, as you know, if you've been watching and listening uh, to Lily talking about migraine and histamine, mm -hmm. and there's a great article on it in the new issue of the magazine. Uh, histamine is something that can be really implicated in migraine. Do listen to my podcast, for Dr. Tina Pears. She's fab. She's totally fab. She's treating you now, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Oh, some people are saying it's sounding windy. I will close it off. Oh, you see, I did say. So, okay, so listen, here's the deal. I said to Lil, I'm really sorry, it's hot in the kitchen. But, uh, so she opened a window and I said, no, no, you can't have that window open because it's too close to the microphone. And everybody, especially sorry, on Facebook, will complain that there's a gale. So she said, yeah, I know, but it's so hot in here. I said, yes, but you know, you just have to suck it up sometimes. That's what, you know, the pain of being an artiste. <laughs> anyway, so we tried, tried with the open window. Thank you for telling us. Yeah. Hi, Alison. Hi, Alexandra. So if there's anything that you hear or see uh, or doesn't work please message and we will do our best oh i tell you what i need to go and get my ipad which is charging over there since okay. your little brother had it uh -huh. um, but i can leave you holding the fort because okay. i just need to get my messages <laughs> hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen uh, it's not your kitchen <laughs> today i shall be baking the tart uh, this is not a takeover <laughs> i am back okay this is not a takeover <laughs> just in case don't get too comfortable Right, so we do have, I do now have my iPad, or my tablet rather, other uh, gadgets are available, <laughs> and some lovely, lovely comments I wanted to share with you first off, because it's Friday and it's kind of feel good Friday, so thank you. Uh, this is from Brenda on email, who says, during lockdown I came upon your Instagram videos by chance. I've really enjoyed watching them. I've tried several lovely recipes. Excellent. Great. Having seen you make them in your own kitchen, I've munched my way through a lot of homemade granola. I've ordered yearbooks one and two. They arrived last week. I'm really enjoying browsing through them now. Lots of lovely recipes that I know we'd like to try. Great. Well, That's good that fun. you've got yours because I'm going to be cooking from yearbook two. Um, we do have loads of recipes online on lizardwellbeing.com, so uh, don't feel left out if you haven't got the books. I'm really sorry that year but one has just gone, but, but, and I haven't put them on the website yet because I get into trouble with my team when I oh. start messing about with the website. Cause That's understandable. It, what does that mean? Well, if you were running a website and someone started messing around with it. Well, I wasn't messing, I was just filling in stuff that I needed to do. Do you want to come and say hi? <laughs> so that, come here, come here. So th this is the other one. Look, she's, just she's just sneak across. She's just cre crept in. This is Brella, who's just gone pink. Yeah. <laughs> Such a lucky Hello. mama. <laughs> Sorry, sweet. I should, I should have um, put a sign the on the door. List. The shopping <laughs> list. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Did I add, um, I think your brother wanted cream cheese. Uh, yeah, I put cream cheese. Do you want anything else? I don't think so. I'll message you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sweet. Do you want to shut the door? Yeah, I'll shut the door. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real family family affair today. Um, what was I saying? I was talking about oh yes, messing around messing on the website, website or not, or you know, carefully curating the website. Um, I do don't hold your breath, but I do have I think two more boxes of yearbook ones. <gasps> I know, but I'm I'm not sure how many is in a box, and I'm not allowed to talk about them. Okay, so I didn't mention that, but I just wanted to throw that out there just as a tiny tiny heads up because they are literally when they have gone they will have gone 
Um, but please stay tuned. I'll probably pop it on my stories because that's probably the quickest and easiest way just to let people know. Mm. Um, or you can check back on the website. It's worth, if you're really, really keen, it's worth just having that page up and just keep refreshing it. And if we can get them up, I will ask Betty, who is working from home, kind of doing all the back end stuff on the website properly uh, in an official capacity, then I will let her know when we've had a count up just so that we know exactly how many we've got. But we do have lots of yearbook twos, so there's no issue with that one. Um, this is from Angela. Oh, nice. Received my copy of the new magazine. And what a treat. A total work of art. So this is this oh, one. Marvellous. Oh, oh just dropped one. <laughs> um, it's beautifully put together with so many interesting features. Thank you. Another one here from Mitch saying, loving the new magazine. Really interesting considering you had to do it all in lockdown. <laughs> yeah. That was an interesting one. Um, I must pass on my thanks to you for still doing your lives and cheering up my day and giving up so much valuable information. Great. It's such a pleasure. Thank you. And last, oh no, a couple more. Anne here on email. Liz, our well-being, what amazing quality content, such a delight and pleasure to have around my home. So loving the daily podcast, which I usually watch as I commence my afternoon of work and replay again later. That's, That's really nice. Great. Thank you, Anne. I'm not sure if you're on Facebook or Instagram or even YouTube, because we do post to YouTube a bit later on. Um, and lastly, this is from JL Doolan, who says, you are my saviour, Lizelle. I'm 44 with two young children. Last year, I thought I was going insane. I kept having vertigo episodes. One particular episode saw me crawling on the floor at St Pancreas Station at rush hour. Oh, my goodness. Gosh. How scary. Doctors run a number of blood pressure and heart tests. I kept suggesting, do you think it's perimenopause, only to be met with dismay? But reading your work on, on menopause and listening to your podcast, I realised my gut instinct was right all along. So thank you, thank you for being so honest about your own life experiences it means so much you are so welcome we do try and be kind That's of really nice. authentic here and you know it's it's crazy isn't it how few doctors are aware even of perimenopause and menopause mm. this lot are all going to be fine because they have so grown up with it i know i mean and so we're going to be absolutely fine you're Can't just going to take, take up the day i get to take hrt yeah estrogen yeah well you've got lots of lovely estrogen at the moment so you're, <laughs> you're all fine but you're just totally on it in case you're not but something that lil has been doing which maybe we'll just talk about briefly because it's it's relevant actually to what we're going to cook today mm -hmm. is this whole thing of histamine yes so you went to see Dr. Tina. Yes, I did. Who is a histamine expert mm -hmm. and also consults at Chelsea and Westminster. Yes. So she's you know proper top medic. Also works a lot with menopause, which is quite interesting because there's this histamine and estrogen connection. That so is, yes. so complicated. It's so complicated. So, but you went and had your genetic testing done for yes. histamine, and you got your results this week. So I did. move in, sweetheart. They can see you on Facebook. They're very. It's very complicated. Okay, so but can you do it in a, in a, in a kind of beginner's guide to it? What what happened? So you get a... So I specifically had my estrogen, histamine and men, methylation, methylation. methylation mm. gene pathways tested. And um, they basically track... So each gene is responsible for a different reaction. So breaking... We'll start with the histamine one. Breaking down the... Um, breaking down the histamine into the substances, I can't remember what they're called, that you then um, excrete and get rid of. Right. And um, it turns out my genes are not very good at doing this. Sorry. Well, I'm <laughs> sorry. I gave you <laughs> a gene, so it's my fault. I'm sorry. And they did this great, there's some company that does it, Life Code X, I think they're called. They do a traffic light system, so red, amber, and green, and then mm. by each gene. So the genes are working, it's just whether they're slow or working at kind of the right speed, I guess you could think of, uh -huh. or kind of like a sliding scale. And um, lots of mine were amber and red. Amber and red. Yes. Okay, so now we've got to coax them down into green, is that the idea? So you'd never be able to change them, but you can do things that would support their function. So right. they're a function, I guess, I guess, at the top end of amber, like the top end of their ability right so which is why you get them. overstressed and that causes the chronic pain one and of the fatigue reasons, and yeah. one of the reasons okay yeah. honestly theory. It's, it's such it's such an interesting journey do listen to the podcast that i recorded with dr tina all about histamine and actually we've got mm. a really good article um which we put together really quickly big thanks to ellie smith my senior health and beauty writer oh, she's for, fab. yeah she's a great art um, a great writer and this is a really really good article and this is, oh, there's a good one on hearing too. Um, actually, that was the one that I wrote. Uh, 
So yeah, it because be well, it would be obviously. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, here we go. Let's talk about histamine, and it's it goes over four pages, and it talks about all the foods and about how you can heal your histamine intolerance and so many issues that can be linked to it that we might not even think about. You know, it can be a culprit for migraine, hay fever, chronic fatigue, long-term pain, fibromyalgia, ME, all of these can have a histamine connection. So mm -hmm. if you are affected or know somebody, do please get them to listen to the podcast. They can download it free on the podcast app. Um, this is the subscriber issue. As I mentioned, I think on Wednesday when I was last with you, the retail edition here, this is the last ever issue that we're going to have in retail. So we're coming out of retail, which is a bit scary. Uh, but the wastage in retail is just uh, shocking. You know, we have to print, overprint so many tens of thousands of magazines that just end up being pulped just because the retailers want to store them. And obviously the impact of that with trees and lorries on the road and packaging and all of that, it just wasn't sustainable. And because uh, we were so badly affected, obviously, by the lockdown and like many, many small businesses and came, if I'm really honest with you, really close to thinking about shutting up shop. Um, so big thank you for the team for pulling it all together yeah. and enabling us to continue. Uh, and it does mean that we're going to go subscription only, which I think will be safer for the magazine. Um, because we'll be able to print the precise number of copies that we need. And so it'll just be a more sustainable business model. So interesting how businesses have to sort of change and adapt. So in order to make that better for you guys, uh, certainly in the UK, we're still doing free PMP. We're still doing six issues for the price of five. So you get your free issue as a subscriber. So it's cheaper than retail anyway. And we've also, at the moment, got a special gift with Neil's Yard, where if you subscribe, you get a £10 online voucher. <laughs> I know, we love Neil's Yard. We do, they're great. So, something else that is free, and I, we are going to cook, honestly, we promise you, <laughs> but something else that I just wanted to shout out here. This is the e-guide. I've actually printed mine out, but this is what it looks like if you print it. There's lots of pages, because these are actually printed double-sided, so it's like a, a whole e-book. And this is called A Flatter, Happier Tum. And I promise you, this is not, this is an unretouched tummy. I Very was much. I was breathing in. I will admit that. I was, <laughs> good, I was sucking it in a bit. <laughs> but, um, but yes, it's, uh, it is all about how to have a flatter, happier tum, really with gut health. And I think as we're coming out of lockdown, these lockdown pounds are quite real. Yep. And it is real. It is real. And a lot of issues with bloating and... IBS and this is a really good time to just think about looking after a microbiome because we know that happy gut influences our immune system makes us stronger more resilient to viruses and other diseases and so we just felt that it was a really good time to put this together talking about all our favorite probiotics all the things that I take for example prebiotics probiotics um, the first month free we've had it sponsored by by Muno which is brilliant so it means that you don't have to pay for it Normally it'll be four ninety nine, um, but thanks to our friends there, anybody can download it free. So grab it while you can. Feel free to share the links. Links for Instagram will be in my link tree. So just go to my Instagram bio. At the bottom, there's the little blue line that says link tree. Click on that and you get all the lovely links to everything. I know Amy, thank you. You've just popped a link up there of how to download your free copy. So hope you love that. Um, have another quick slurp of coffee. Actually, I was just thinking, this is the mug that you bought me for Christmas. It is. Except it's just mm. a blank side to the camera. Like, that's what you're supposed to be seeing. <laughs> that's what I can see when I drink from it. So I've got my lovely... It's kind of like, Is it the Picasso dub of Peace, do you think? Or is I it based, based on that? On that but really nice. Where did you get it from? Anthropology. Oh, nice. I like mm. their things. Oh. Well, my coffee is actually coming from New Ground Coffee. I mentioned them on Wednesday, so I was reminded to give them another shout out because we've got a Liz Loves code, get 20% off their amazing coffees. They are a sustainable coffee brand. They're based in Oxfordshire. And what's really different about them is they rehabilitate ex-offenders. So they are a social impact company and they, they pick up guys who've come out of prison. And we know that reoffending in society, the rates are really, really high unless people can find jobs and can find purpose. And that's what these guys do. So they, you can basically subscribe to get their coffees. Um, this is the one that I'm drinking. This is from Ethiopia. It's quite a strong one. I like it in the morning. It's called Shakiso. comes in the purple pack. And this one I also really like for later in the day is Monte Carmelo. 
and that's a Brazilian one which is a blend and it's a little bit softer in the pale blue and these are all compostable packaging biodegradable oh, that's yeah um, and actually no it's not sorry it's CO2 neutral and widely recyclable this one I have to remember um, I've got my head full of packaging actually because I'm doing a whole thing on packaging next week but yes, use your Liz Loves code on there. If you're going to buy co coffee, let's buy it sustainably from good sources, from companies, little founder-led companies that kind of make a difference to society. So, quite right. Quite right. <laughs> I know that you young people are all into that, yes. aren't you? Are you woke? Is it, is it, a, is it a, a kind of a, an insult to call somebody being woke? Or do you want to be no, woke? I probably want to be woke. You want to be woke, okay. I'm not sure with all this stuff. It's all new for me. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cook some, uh, this, the, if you're just joining me, welcome, courgette, leek and gruyere tart, which I'm going to make for our lunch. And the reason I'm going to do this is that you can actually make it with anything. So like most of my recipes, they're not prescriptive. You can adapt them. And I really wanted to encourage Lil here to make her own pastry because it's so easy to do. It is easy to do. It was and very easy. I don't know. Have you had you made pastry before? I have. You have. I have. Know. But um, I Let started at puff pastry, handmade puff you pastry. You can't start at puff pastry. That's ridiculous. I was inspired by the Bake Off. They were making these little... Um, Portuguese custard tarts. I spent all day making them. Making puff pastry. <laughs> Actually, puff pastry is the one pastry that I do buy. Uh, but otherwise, pastry. I mean, I use spelt flour here, which is why mine has looked a little bit brown in colour. Um, but spelt flour is more easily digested. And I've got the packet here, actually, which I use for rolling out. Um, yes. And it's, it's just an ancient grain. It has a different, slightly different nutritional composition. A lot of people get on better with spelt flour than they do with the modern kind of hybrids of, um, of wheat. So you have got one, haven't you, that you prepared earlier, which we won't yes, reveal one that we made earlier. just now. Um, do you want to show the tin? Because we found this really, really good oh, tin. Yeah. So this tin, the bottom completely comes out and slides out like that. That's so clever, isn't it's it? Great. So it's perfect. So you always, you never have to worry about kind of you know digging stuff out, no. scooping it out, and it collapsing. Well, we I've, hope we haven't. We have. Okay. Well, you're going to see whether it works or not. <laughs> but we have lined it with yeah. just some um, baking parchment there, anyway. And buttered the sides. And buttered the sides. Yes. Marvelous. I popped a link on Linktree. Amy, I'm not sure if I gave you the link, sweetheart. You might have to just check on Linktree for that for Facebook. Um, because they are quite hard to find, but we did. But we did manage to find it. Now, I was going to roll this out on here, but you... Oh, yes, but I... Okay, you're going to tell me something. I am going to tell you something, because this, when it rolls out, has completely flat sides. So rather than flapping around rolling your pastry, especially and then the lifting short crust, and then yeah. lifting it and it breaking everywhere, you could just roll it out straight onto the I can the roll brain. it on... That is, I have to say... A genius idea. Did you, you. Did you just make that up? Yeah, I did, when I was making the one that we made earlier. That is, I'm proud of you, Lil. Thanks. I am proud of you. <laughs> so let me see if I can get it to work there. I've got to kind of squash it. And and this is quite a rough and ready. You don't have to make it. I often think that homemade tarts and things look better if they do look as if they haven't been pristinely bought out of a, yeah, a factory. Mm. You're right, I can just have lay it out. Yeah. yeah. And then you know exactly which bit. size to do as well. Yeah. No, that is really... Very clever. Oh, now, thank you. the recipe here that I'm using calls for Gruyere cheese, which I love. Mm -hmm. I think Gruyere cheese cooks really well. It's it's quite a strong flavour. It's an aged uh, cheese, mountain cheese, and it's you know it's quite expensive, but a little bit goes a long way because it's really rich in flavour. And making using it for things like cheese souffles is an absolute you know it's a winner. It's a real real winner. Um, but you are not allowed to have aged cheeses, are you? No. So tell us why you can't have them. Because the bacteria in them, I think, makes them have um, lots of histamine in them. And because my body can't process histamine at the moment, we are trying to reduce the amount of histamine in my system because you can't eat it. I've learned. You can eat histamine. Well, you, the histamine is histamine in, is in foods, in, so yeah. you can take it into your body. And that was really interesting because, you know me, I'm always talking about gut health and always yes. feeding this one 
over the years, I've been feeding her, you know, kefir, kimchi, kraut, or kombucha, all of that. Kombucha, slimy pancake hiding in the airing cupboard. The slimy pancake hiding in the airing Since cupboard. Was yay big. You won't be able to see my hand, but really little. When she was shorter than me, basically. Yes. <laughs> um, so, of course, I didn't realise. I thought I was doing really good things for her gut and her friendly, beneficial bacteria, but it's no good if you have a histamine sensitivity. No, it's not. So we are kind of Mrs. Ying and Yang here when yeah. it comes to gut health. But it's important if you have a histamine intolerance that you can still get your good gut bugs. So what we've done actually in the, um, this guide, the e-guide that you can get free, a happier, flatter tum, is we've listed some of the ones that are good for those who have histamine intolerance. So you do still have your gut bugs, don't you? You, st you have. Yeah, I can get so, it from the oh, thanks. So you've got Simprove. So Simprove. Many of you will know about Simprove, the liquid. And um, what have you got there? This one, I don't think it actually was in the. Um, so there's. This one that we put on the website. Yeah, Optibag. which is. And then there's that one, the Probiotica Histamine X. Histamine X. So we've got an article online about histamine intolerance. About histamine, what it is, it's really fascinating to read. Um, so, and there's a link to that one, which is safe, and you know, the, medically, the clinically, the, the doctors say that if you have histamine intolerance, this is a good one to take. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, um, I was quite pleased to see that the bimuno is also safe to take. So these are my um, these are my bimuno sachets. If I, I'm going to shove one in my coffee while I think about it. I, I always take the top off the pack so I can just pull it out of the drawer. Oh, that's and, fun. and yeah, I, I normally have mine in um, in coffee, but I was concerned actually that these prebiotic fibers you can't. That's um, good. Yeah. You know, you can't have them if you're histamine intolerant. And I think, well, actually, how then do you, you know, how then do you get your good gut bugs? Okay, so you are trimming it then, so you well, are going to make it look neat. I am, but only because it's spilling over the edges of the tin. Because I okay. think when I obviously spit the pastry into two, so that we could make two tarts. Yeah, I must have made this one slightly bigger. Okay, so that is because the so other one really I good. I'm I'm really thrilled with that. So what's great about that is we've rolled it out on the tin. Yeah, so that's perfect. Yes, so you don't have to lift it up and have it fall apart. No faffing around. No faff, and then we'll be able to pull it out. We'll show you hopefully with the other one. Uh, so into this, once you've made your pastry base, then you can pile in all your seasonal veggies. So for this one. I'm using leeks and courgettes. So, Lil, you yes. actually did my leeks earlier, didn't you? I did. So nice having an assistant. We've got to do more of these. <laughs> Shall we get Lil here more often? Yes, what yes. do you think? <laughs> so we've got here, we've got sautéed in olive oil. We've got leeks, garlic and courgette. Courgette. And that yellow one, yeah, I'm really proud of my yellow well. courgette. Let me show you my yellow courgette. So this, there's only a teeny baby one left in the garden. It's a bit of a small one. <laughs> it's more like a baby carrot. This is actually um, a courgette. And obviously, if we'd left it, it would have grown into a long one. But I do love that. And, you know, these are just my favourite veggies at the moment. And what I love also is stuffed courgette flowers. So if you can find them like this, and you can just very gently un swirl the little flower at the end and then you've got a little natural pocket that you could pop up particularly a little bit of um, mozzarella a little chunk oh, of mozzarella so good. and an anchovy just shove that in there twist it up again to seal it like that and then you could just grill it you could bake it you could batter it a little mm. bit of flour egg and bread I love crumb. the battered ones oh so crunchy and yummy um, so what we've done, so you picked those literally, didn't you, from the I garden? Did. What is this one? That was an end that had been pre-chewed, hopefully by a rabbit or something cute. Flipping rabbits. I'm supposed to have rabbit-proof fencing. What is all <laughs> this? Honestly, I've got mice in my studio, rabbits in my kitchen garden. Are you still, there are still mice? That little well, mouse. I he's think... He's very bold. He's a very bold, cheeky mouse. I, he wasn't there this week, so whether he's gone off to pastures new, I'm kind of hoping. That's <laughs> my chilli jam, on, isn't it? Yeah, so, but it goes on the bottom. It goes on you, before you okay, do the veggies. Okay, you do that first. Fine, let's Just do that. Some and some chilli then... jam on the, on the pastry base. I was given that, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, so, yeah, who made I, it? I'm not sure. Somebody who came to supper brought me a jar of chilli jam. It's so good. It's really good. It's quite pokey, that one. It is... It um, is. Or as they say in Kenya, pili pili, <laughs> pili pili ho ho, which means really quite spicy. And they do mean it. If, if somebody, if you're in Kenya, yes. and somebody <laughs> says to you, and you say, is this spicy? They go, oh, pili pili ho ho. You go, right, okay. <laughs> Need to be careful. Yeah, and then just spread it out. Okay, and then we're going to pop the uh, courgettes and onions mm -hmm. and leeks. Uh, no, not onions, sorry, courgettes, leeks and garlic. Yeah. Pop those over the top. Which have just been um, sauteed in olive oil. Nice. Really smell. Some left over. Well, that would be great yeah. actually, because then we can add them 
maybe to a risotto or something a bit later. Yum. Now we are going to do two because the one that we did earlier had this lovely Gruyere cheese, which I talked about, which is this aged Swiss cheese and uh, it's possibly even slightly fermented. It has this kind of nutty taste. It's really, really thick and it cooks really well. So very good for things like tarts and for souffles. But Lil, of course, can't have that. Lil has to have really fresh cheeses that have got no bacteria, no fermentation at all. So aged cheeses, you can't have Parmesan, can you? No, it's so sad. But we'll fix you and then you might be able to. Yes, Dr. Pierce said that I might be able to have them every now and again. I'd okay. have to find my own routine. Okay, well, let's get you well first. Then I can have a cup of Earl Grey tea. <laughs> can you not even have that? Because you can't have, have tea. Caffeine. And you can't um, have black tea, even if it's decaf, I checked. Really? Well, Gosh, so you're drinking mint tea? Yeah, I've got mint tea here. Mm. In my favourite mug with love hearts on it. That is Gosh. a cute one. It says, I am outrageously loved. Yeah. Very sweet. So this is packed. I mean, I don't know. Can we see that on here? Yeah, Sorry. we should be able to. Look at that. Looks so good. And then what we're going to do for you is mm -hmm. we are going to use some fresh mozzarella. Yeah. Because this is freshly made, unfermented. And delicious. And delicious. Or even if you can get it, burrata, which is the even younger, fresher mm -hmm. mozzarella. So that would be good, mozzarella or burrata, if you want to go fresh. So this is a, a Italian buffalo mozzarella, mozzarella di bufala. And, uh, Excellent accent. Well, you can tell that I'm, I'm gearing up. We're hoping to get <laughs> to um, back to see some of our family in Italy soon. So yes, gearing up with a few... Italian <laughs> phrases. My Italian is just so dreadful though. It's, I'm sure they cringe every time they hear me. So I think that literally just chopping this. I think so, yeah. Um, might possibly want to cover it with a piece of baking parchment when it goes in while the pastry is cooking. Just yes, so that the mozzarella doesn't burn. Do like you want that. to grab some yeah. honey in that drawer? There'll be some. Um, and then I don't think we'll be finished in time to show you this when it comes out. You put the lemon zest on before it goes in or after? Yeah, what do you think? Before it goes in. Before, yeah. okay, yeah, we could grate that, couldn't we? Yeah. Let's just um, chop that. The scissors. Uh, the scissors have gone back in the drawer. Sorry, I rinse my hands. Uh, not that drawer, this drawer. Oh. There we go. There you go. So, so, yeah, so that's. Really live. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, we did. didn't have a huge amount of time for prepping, as usual. Um, but let me just move this so that we've got a space. Oh, a couple of questions about what we're wearing. So I Ooh. mentioned on Wednesday, Lavender Hill clothing. This is a Lavender Hill t-shirt, which I love. They are super well made. They make in Italy and in the UK. So it's a great British company. I'm sure everybody on Facebook is not enjoying the rustling. I know, really sorry the for rustling. Rustling. Really sorry. Do you want to shove that yeah. down there? And then maybe set the timer for yep. 20 minutes or so, and then we'll take the top off. Thank you. Um, take the top off the tart, obviously, not not take our tops off. Oh, our tops mommy. are better staying on. But I'm just making it clear. Um, so, yes, yeah, so Lavender Hill clothing, you get 10% off with Liz Loves. And I've just checked, so we put a link on Instagram Linktree, and there's also one on Facebook. Oh, look, we're making Victoria hungry. I know, <laughs> Barbara. Um, and then this one, I looked yeah. on their website this morning just to check that it was in stock, and it's in the sale, half price in the sale. Oh, excellent. I love the little bobbly. It's got little bobbles on fringing. it. I like the neckline as well. Yeah, no, it's great. It's a really nice colour. Very easy, nice to wear. So, shall we get yours out? Because Lil made one of these tights oh, yes. earlier. Um, <laughs> Bev says, Stop it, I'm broke. It's in the sale, you know. It's important to keep the economy going. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. This looks amazing. Look. Oh, my goodness. So this is the one that we made with Gruyere. The one I made earlier. Yes. Now, is it going to slide out, do you think? I hope so. Okay, let's this try. This has not been pre-tested. No, we have not. We have not tried this. Okay, okay. so you're going to have to hold one end. If you hold that yeah. end and pull... Oh, yes, yeah, look at that! Well, hey. <laughs> so now we can slice it. Let's get a knife. Oh, it looks so good. It smells amazing. I have to say, it's really good timing doing these um, these lives at lunchtime. Yeah, at lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we're going to be having. Except you're not allowed this one. No. But this would be really good if you're out and about. You know, if you're going for any walks, if you've got anything oh, planned yes. this weekend for uh, picnics. 
um, and you know you can make it with anything you don't have to use courgettes you can use um, I need something a bit thicker really to hold that you can use any seasonal veggies there's still quite a lot of asparagus around at the moment there is uh, lots of tender stem broccoli oh, there we go oh the perfect. smell oh it's Yum. really good look at that you can see it steaming <laughs> the smell is great and I look forward to trying that I think the cheese with the chili jam is, yeah. is going to be particularly good, good. Combo. Um, so really good combo so that is from yearbook two mm -hmm. this is yearbook two which I sign and send out from here as I say if you want yearbook one I'm hoping I'm just crossing fingers that we will have a few um, but <laughs> don't quote me on that because the last time I sold some magazines which I thought we had and we actually didn't I got into big trouble so um, if you want some free magazines, by the way, oh, so everyone loves, free everyone loves a freebie. We love, we've got lots of free things at the moment, which yeah, is really nice. Yeah. I love that. Uh, so Readly, and Amy, I know you'll pop a link on Facebook, and there is a link I checked on Instagram. If you've not yet done it, do sign up to Readly. Uh, you just click on the link. It's super easy because you get a free month of magazines. So I think is you know if you are thinking about heading away mm. on holiday, you don't have to go into the airport or wherever you're going, train station, and buy all your magazines, which are heavy and all the rest of it. Obviously, if you see there's our well-being, then clearly this is the one that you need to buy. Obviously, but um, I don't want to do myself down there. But you know, frankly, I think having them all in one place for a digital thing is a really great thing. It's and bad. You do get Liz Our Wellbeing on there and you get the back issues. So if you've not had been able to buy any of the back issues that we've had over the last few weeks and months, because they just kind of come and go like that, that's a really good way to have them all in one place. And normally when you subscribe to Readly, it's seven ninety nine, I think, for a month. Um, and that gives you access to lots and lots. And I know I think it was Brenda who was saying that she is big into crochet. And what she loved about subscribing to Readly was that all the crochet magazines oh, fab. and all the patterns. So you Excellent. probably like that with all your yeah, crafty would. stuff yes, and yeah. knitting and yeah. yarny things that you do. Yarny things. Yarny things. She's so much more creative than I am. <laughs> Honestly, check out her Instagram. Their little digital films are just amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you haven't done one for a while because she's been poorly. But I you're haven't. Gonna, I'm going to do one. I have one planned. Do you have one planned? Are we allowed to know what it's going to be with or not? Um, oh, which one? Um, with some flowers. Okay, good. With some well, forget-me-nots. Oh, sweet. And I might trick myself. You might trick... <laughs> You're like Alice, aren't you? <laughs> drink me, eat me, because you just go up and down. I love it when you shrink yourself and do the little figures. It's so, so, so clever. Oh, thank you. Really clever. <laughs> um, so, uh, yes, yeah, so Readly. So, really good. And basically, when you subscribe, it'll tell you that you have to subscribe if you use the link. Um, but then you get your month free. So... It, basically they won't take any money from you and then if you don't like it after a month you just cancel it so you, you do actually physically get a whole month free for the summer to read loads and loads of magazines That's which fab. we do really like you can of course subscribe to Liz our well-being <laughs> um, don't forget that and actually before I go I while you were here Lil I don't oh, yeah. know that I showed you these no this is a British brand I discovered called Prosody I know lots of you have been getting these little mini kits of fragrances it's the, the fragrances, even, I mean, you can smell just opening the box. Oh, wow. Are In lovely packaging. Incredible. Isn't it beautiful? Mm. So you can get this little discovery kit of things to try oh, and you cute. get your 20% discount, obviously, with Liz Loves. And then the one that I really, really loved was the Neroli Nuance, which comes in this beautiful box. That's gorgeous. And you'll love this, actually, look, because I know you love um, pretty packaging and I do. art. Look oh, at that wow. on this acid. I think it's they call it acid-etched paper. And then it's got little kind of gold lettering inside. Really, really pretty. And I'm, I'd am i like to spray it, but are you going to be all right? Because I know that people with migraine are often super sensitive, very sensitive to smells smell. and things. So yeah. maybe what I'll do is, because it is an amazing smell. Has anybody tried this yet? Let me know if you've tried the Neroli Nuance. Um, oh, your perfume arrived this morning. Tracy, what did you think? Love to know. Got mine yesterday. Smelt divine. Somebody else is waiting um, oh, nice comments. Mm. Oh, look, Dove House Mosaics. Love the Christmas bauble ones from Lily. Those were oh, Lily's films <laughs> where she filmed herself on a Christmas bauble on a Christmas tree. I did, yes. I mean, it's just, it's so much fun. Do go and have a look. <laughs> uh, it really, really is good. She's amaryllis.earl on, um, on Instagram. Readly, yeah, 
Great. Whole family have access. Yeah, that's really interesting, you know, oh. because, you know, when you think how Kit likes all his sports magazines, yeah, he does. You know, he's really into cricket monthly or whatever it is and rugby world. And you can get all that on Reedy. So you can have one, one subscription and then everybody. So, you know, you get access to like hundreds of magazines. It's, it's re- I think it's great, actually. That's good. Yeah, you can smell it yeah, from I the can cap, can't like you? That. I don't have yeah. to spray it on. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. I'm, it's my, so it's good. become my kind of healthy addiction during, during lockdown. <laughs> anyway, I think that is just about it. Mustn't forget we've got a tart in the oven. I know. <laughs> and that's the one that you can eat. It is. Uh, don't that'll forget, if you want to know about histamine, uh, we've got an article on the web on histamine intolerance mm-hmm. and it's got links to a list of all the foods that may be implicated. So um, really worth doing. And if you and want do some... And listen to the podcast. Do that listen is to the fascinating podcast. fascinating talking to... To Dr. Tina. 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 She's amazing. You have these like two hour consultations with her, don't you? Yes, I do. She's She's so knowledgeable. And she treated her own daughter, and that's why I think she's so passionate about it because her own daughter was was super, super ill um, and is now really well, which is what we're hoping for you, Mm -hmm. isn't it? So, on that positive note, (laughs) thank you. Just to say, if you are not yet signed up to the Lizard Wellbeing newsletter, please pop your name on the list because it goes out this afternoon. So oh. Amy will be pressing the go button at four o'clock this afternoon. Um, but you've got to be on the list to get it. And lots of great recipes in there for the weekend. Also, my Friday Five, I've just recorded that. And there is a fascinating update. If you are affected by the Estragel, Estradose scandal, if you've been following that oh, on Dr gosh. Zoe Hodson's Instagram, she's the Manchester Menopause Hive. If you've been following that, um, do please take a listen to my podcast and also lots of other chat about other things as well. But that will come out shortly. Um, that's the Liz Our Wellbeing Friday Five. So lots going on. Lots going on. And yes. we'll see you tomorrow. I don't know. Will you be with me tomorrow? We well, might be. We'll, might see, be. we'll see. We'll see how you see. feel. See how we'll you see. feel. It obviously takes a lot out just doing this. But we'll feed you full of tart. You'll be fine. Tart and a nap. <laughs> tart and a nap. It's a good combo. <laughs> We're sending you lots and lots of love. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.